My name is Andrew, this is Rogue Wrench, and today we are talking about kind of a challenging subject, and that is budgeting with a fluctuating income. Now, there's a lot of reasons why you should budget, and we're going to go into those in just a minute. But it's incredibly difficult when you have a fluctuating budget, where some weeks you have really high pay, and some weeks you have really low pay. So that's kind of what we're going to dive into today. The first point that I want to cover is why it's so important to have a budget. And that's because 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck which means that if they miss one paycheck, they're in financial trouble. So having a budget can help get you out of that and help you to regain control of your money. That way you can control your money instead of your money controlling you. So the thing is with a budget is you've got to think of it not so much as a straight jacket that says you can't spend money on this, but as a tool of freedom that says you have the freedom to spend money in this category or this category. So for the kind of budgeting that I like to use and that I recommend is what's called zero-based budgeting, which means that you give every single dollar a name and you tell it where it's going within a one-month period. So there are some free tools to help you with that, including this free Every Dollar app, and it's by uh, Ramsey Solutions, so Dave Ramsey's company, and it's free to use, it's super helpful, but the trick is you've got to know how much money you have coming in so you know where that money is going to go, and that can be challenging when you've got varying paychecks. So what I'm going to try to teach you guys today is what I call the paycheck buffer method, which is something that I'm not sure other people have figured this out. I kind of worked this system out on my own about a year and a half ago and have had really good success with it and it works. It's easy to use and it's really simple. So what I have created here is kind of a graph that shows varying levels of paychecks. So obviously the taller the graph, the more money the paycheck, and then I've just got them numbered one through nine. This could be uh, your weekly paycheck or if you get paid every two weeks or whatever or every paycheck. However you want to look at it, whatever your time increment is, you know, you've got, you know, your first pit check is nice and big, second one's decently big, and then third one, that's a problem. So if you build your budget off of this first one, and then you hit this third one here that's much lower, now you're scrambling because you're not sure what to, like, where you're going to get this money from because this money was supposed to be up here and now it's way lower and what do you do? So to alleviate that kind of fear or problems, what I've devised is a system to help fill in those low spots. So what you do is you look back over your last five or 10 paychecks and you figure out about what the average is. So I've drawn a line across here, which is kind of a low average. So it's about average minus 10%, give or take a little bit. I just kind of use round numbers. So figure out a low average. And then once you know what that number is, whenever you get a paycheck, if it comes in over that average, what you do then is you take that overage and you set it aside and you put it in a separate savings account. And so with that extra money, you take that extra, you set it in a separate account. When that account reaches the level of your highest paycheck or a little bit more, depending on how what your risk tolerance is, you might want that to be the equivalent of two paychecks. Once you've fully funded your paycheck buffer account, you can start setting that extra money towards your other financial goals. So that may be savings, that might be you know saving for a vacation, that could be paying off debt, that could be buying tools, whatever it is, that's what you do with the overage once you've got a buffer account. That way, if you've got a low week, you can just take a little bit of that buffer, stick it in to fill in the low spots, and then when you have a high spot, you backfill the overage account until it's back up to whatever that predetermined level is. Really simple system, it works really well, and it's just some basic math, super simple and easy. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And that's kind of all I've got for you on this. If you guys want to learn more about budgeting for specifically automotive repairs, I've got a video right over here I did that kind of explains how to do that. So check that out if that's something that you might be interested in. And we'll see you guys very, very soon.